I'm joined by Phil Brown, who's just completed his first Burley. Phil, how are you? Um, ecstatic. Yeah, that was just incredible. Um, the whole week has been incredible. It's been really special. Can you put into words, I mean, just how special it has been? Um, it, well, it's a childhood dream, isn't it? I think it's every Pony Club kid's dream um, to even get here. And I think also even just to arrive at the gates on Wednesday with a fit, sound, healthy horse ready to start is an achievement in itself. Um, so to have the week I've had, you know, did a PB in the dressage clear round yesterday. And yes, a few poles fell then, but that would be his tricky phase. And, you know, I just I couldn't be more over the moon with him, really. And tell us about you, because am I right in saying you're a local rider? Yes, yeah, so originally from North Yorkshire, um, been living in Stamford for the last two and a half years, so we can actually see Burley House from our yard, um, which if that isn't motivation to get here, I don't know what it is. And tell me about your lovely horse. Um, so Harry, I've had him since he was six, um, he's had various different owners along the way, um, he's currently owned by Albert Electrical, who are um, Susie and Danny are here today um, supporting. Um, he is a really lovely horse on the ground, lovely. He's a little bit of a hothead to ride. Um, but yeah, he's, ke he's kept it together this week. I'm really, really pleased with him. And tell me about how you got into eventing as well. Am I right in saying you didn't start really competing until you were sort of in your teenage years? Yeah, so I did a lot of pony club. Um, I don't think I actually did my first British eventing event until I was 18. Um, I mean, I'm probably of the age where you had to be accredited and you couldn't, you know, just start at, at 90. Um, but yeah, so I probably got more into it actually through Pony Club into triathlon really that's where the love of the cross country came from and then trying to find an avenue where you could carry on doing that. And have horses always been in your family? No, um, some parents aren't horsey at all. Um, mum loves it, comes in, well, they're both very supportive, but mum in particular absolutely loves it. Um, but no, not from a horsey background. Um, I think dad does agricultural machinery and has a small holding, so I think I got into it you know, from seeing them going around with it. <laughs> but me and my sister had a pony together, um, I think I was 11 when we got our first one. Um, and then, like I said, just went through Pony Club, had some wonderful instructors who, in fact, they've all been messaging me this week with support. Yeah. Um, and you know just some brilliant people who have helped carve it um, and then actually after I finished at uni I went to the year with Ruth Edge as a working pupil and I think that probably was where I really thought right I want to you know try and make a go of this. And your cross country round yesterday we saw you coming through the finish um, to <laughs> so many cheers and things um, has it sunk in yet have you had time to reflect on your round? Um, yeah a little bit but I think you know go home and you'll really suck it up won't you but um, I was maybe a little bit over the top when I came through but I think it was just <laughs> it was just the elation I think to actually finish and complete from that dream um, of even getting here and then to actually jump clear around um, and the cheers from the crowd I guess you know being local were just amazing so um, yeah it all came out when we crossed the finish line. And I'm right in saying aren't I that you have been qualified to get here before was it six years ago in 2016 yes. so yeah. Talk to me a bit about yeah. the sort of journey. Um, so I had a wonderful horse called Miss Birdie. I actually wore a bracelet of her horse hair on my wrist yesterday when I went around the cross country. She's still with us, um, but she's 20 now. Um, and she qualified to come 2016, and then with a the rule change, had to go and do another long format, and then sadly she picked up an injury at that that sort of put end to She did come back, but um, not. she went back to four star, but never quite finished that five star dream. And I think being from North Yorkshire, my initial name was Bramham. Um, and she achieved that for me and then we sort of thought you know maybe a five star is possible um, but yeah like I said it's took six long years to get back and Harry, Harry's just done that for me. And really special to have her with you and yeah, your absolutely and very weirdly when I got the draw so I was number 59 um, I was quite stressed about being late in the day and I was thinking oh god yeah how am I going to hold it together and then I looked upon the wall and there was my pictures from Bramham and I was number 59 there as well so I believe that was a bit of a sign and I thought well if it was good enough for them it'll be good enough for now.